we've already divided each number in the sequence by the number directly to the left of it. Let's take this one step further and divide each of these numbers by the number two steps to the left. Let's use 144 and 55 as our example. We are always going to get 2.618. This is if you divide any of these Fibonacci numbers by the one, two spaces over to the left. The further away you get from zero along that sequence, the closer to exactly 2.618 you're going to get. So what do we do with that math? Well, here's a great example of the Consumer Discretionary Exchange Traded Fund, XLY, the epic top in 2007, the historic bottom in 2009, and the amazing breakout in 2012 to new all-time highs. Notice how if you take the exact top to the bottom and you calculate what would be 261.8% of that entire decline, you're going to get 81 and change. So in 2015, after four years of rallying after the initial breakout, consumer discretionaries kiss that 261.8% level and do absolutely nothing for a year and a half. The market was respecting that level. That math works. Notice how long it took to break out. But what I also want you to notice is that after the initial approach to that level, the declines were more shallow and more shallow. The buyers were more aggressive stepping in. We have a series of higher lows along the way. We might even be able to argue that this is an ascending triangle with the upper end of the range being the 261.8% extension of that monster decline in 2007. So it's about bringing multiple tools together. The higher lows, key resistance. We want to be buying the breakout above that level. Breaking out above that ascending triangle is evidence to us that the market is finished recognizing these levels, that overhead supply has been absorbed by the demand, and we are now ready to move on.